reusing, recycling, and upcycling are all phenomena that we assume will require so much effort on our part. But what if it doesn't require as much effort as we always think? Well, our next guest here is sh to show us how to upcycle items in our homes that are no longer in use, to put them to better use for better environmental value. Welcome to the show, Olushola Ajagona. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. I'm looking at this table and I'm yes. saying to myself, where do I start from? <laughs> what, let, let's just start with the pillow. Okay. This looks really great. How did you come about this one? Okay, for, for this one, there's a set thing. of six, and I made them from um, an old bed sheet that I was tired of, you know, and um, I just thought to make throw pillow covers out of them, and then some old fabric patches, old denim I can see patches. denim. Mm. That so was how you made this. That's how we got the, the pillow, the throw pillow cover. And these are things we have in our house that we turn to rags and stuff. Yes, we turn wow. to rags. What about <laughs> this? I see this. Okay, this that's plant. a cute mug, which we've turned into a planter. Why did you turn it into a planter? You have many times, uh, we have mugs and cups that, that we no that longer we use. No longer because use. this one still looks good to use. Yes, and so we can put them out there as planters. You can have as many plants as you, <laughs> as you want in your home. With those mugs that, it's you know, are chipped and yeah, all. Yeah, chipped wow. mugs. And instead of trashing them, you know, you can use them as planters. Wow, there's a lot to learn here. Yes. You did this with... Uh, That's an old jam jar. Oh. So it's just decorated. We made the pom-poms. How did you, you know, make the pom-poms? With wool. We just, uh, just to beautify the jars. Yes. These are old saucers. Okay. So these go up on the wall. Now we have... Um, you we fixed have, this yourself? Yes, I fixed this on the saucers. Okay. So they go up as wall, wall hangings. You know, it's really, really nice. What so used to be saucers? Yes, what used to be saucers, yes. These are old mayonnaise jars, you know, painted. And they mayonnaise become, jars. Yes, they become beautiful. You know, someone could make money vases. out of all of this. So that. Wow. <laughs> uh -huh. oh, no. Bottles. <laughs> yes. Uh, men who drink and leave the bottle behind. Yes. We could use them for stuff. Yes, you could use. How them did for you do this anyway? These are wrapped. These are wrapped with wool. Wow. So these are all wrapped. Bottles. Take a look at another bottle. Yes. See, <laughs> and yet another one. Yes. But this color will get dirty easily. Yes, it will. Well, you can always wipe it with some uh, really uh, like normal yes, you can dusting. Wipe it with some white vinegar. You uh -huh. know, and you, 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 it's clean again. And then this one. Aha! Uh -huh. I wanted that <laughs> one to be for the last. Okay. Hmm. okay. So this is more. Yeah. Now this is painted. This is art. Kay. This is a rose painted on the jar. It's the same jar, but that's just another. You painted it yourself. Yes. Oh, have, you paint I too. I have an art teacher. Take I'm just learning, so this is one of my projects. <laughs> ah, this is nice. Okay, yes. look at what it looks like from inside. I don't know if anybody can see it. Can you see the red rose? Ah, it looks cute from inside too. So most people don't know, but I always tell them. Some people say, why, why do you tell people that they're, they're upcycled, they're old jam jars? I'm like, ha, I have to let people know that they need to, in one way or the other, help the environment. So that's a, a good way, this. colorful way to pass the message across. Now this mm -hmm. is a frame. Not everybody likes to put their pictures up, uh -huh. you know. So there, this is just an, a, a fun, colorful way to have something on the wall. But this is a free printable um, art from from the internet. Just print it out, which is really cheap because we're talking value as well. Mm -hmm. You don't want to spend so much, you know, getting an expensive painting on the wall. So this is. You know, this is actually a great way to store paintings of your children. Fun things yes. they do at school. Yes. Just put them in large frames. And now we get to the literal <laughs> baba of them. So what about this? Yes, that's a magazine collage. Ah, from we were taught this one in secondary school. Yes, from so I wonder how many of us actually paid attention. Hmm. Cut, up, cut up in different bits and pieces you know, and, and made into a collage. It can be as big as this television. It can be really large. You can do small ones, but this is nice. Now this is a fashion themed um, mm. wall art. I see <laughs> that. This looks really good. And it will take some time. So if you're yes. bored at home, 
instead of complaining and saying, hey, come on, let's go out now, <laughs> you could do this and probably make money selling it to your friends. Yes.